So Gunner and I were back doing a homestead. Just found this one a few minutes ago. A little spring right here. Looks like up there, I don't know if you see the rocks, but that looks like the cellar. And I kind of have the foundation right here. It's real windy, so there's a few things I already didn't film, because oh, it was just crazy windy. Uh, I already got some watch pieces. But look at that. Harmonica reed. I think we're onto something here, guys. Let's dig. Oh, well, I'm probably, I don't know, 10 feet away from the other one. That might be from the same harmonica. Now that looks like a really old pencil topper. Every hunt, cones boss. <laughs> Man, I must be getting closer. I got another Cones Boss I didn't show you, and there's a suspender button. Spoon time. Well, that wasn't easy, and it ain't much. But look at that, there's a buckle. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man, I got a good one. Look at that. Kind of fancy. Like, yeah, I'll take me some clip. Oh, I got a little button here. I think it says Peabody's. And a second one. I got me a hot spot. What's this one? Oh, I think that's a twin to the last uh, suspender. Very cool. I'm going to end this strong. <laughs> Starting to lose a little hope. Man. Look at that. It's a big one. So I didn't show you one of these. This is my fourth Peabody button, so they must have thrown their old clothes right here. This is turning into quite an adventure. Rattlesnake, bear scat. Awesome. Oh, I can't even believe this. So before I show you what I just found, I just got onto this home site. And this thing's a monster. Look at this front step these guys have. Who lays those huge things down? And this is big. But I just walked up here. Not even, oh, Gunner's over there wanting me to throw a stick, of course. My very first signal. It looks like I got myself a nickel. No way. No freaking way. I think it's a shield nickel. Dude, that's only my second one ever. You know how hard that is to get in Montana? Oh, is it? I think it is. That's crazy. All right, let me, let me clean it up. Okay, I was getting super excited there for a second because I started thinking, what if this is a two sender? You can't really see, you know, all the details very well. I'm definitely not getting a date, but these are 1866 to 1883. And I guess how I figured out it's a nickel and not a two sender is I can see a ring of stars. And that would be the nickel. The, uh... <clears throat> two center doesn't have the stars they're like it's like a wreath but yeah that's only my second one ever man how awesome is that i thought it was gonna be a v-nickel that's hard to get in montana that's older than the state of montana awesome well there's a horseshoe right on top look at that it's even still got some nails in it i think this place may have never been dug <laughs> Oh, how cool. That's a token, baby. For sure. See if I can get anything off of it. That is a local pool hall token. That is awesome. I do have some of these, but I don't think I have a square one. This one's probably the older version. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but it's definitely a handle off of something. Dang, looks like I got a gold gilled button here maybe definitely not a very nice one it's coming up uh, 
like a nine or a ten. Cool. Well, unfortunately, it took me so long tonight to find this. I'm out of time. I've only been here like 45 minutes. Pretty awesome, though, 45 minutes. So, maybe I'll be back with Dinwiddie here in a couple days. Got a real big, uh, cool dig planned for a couple days, so unfortunately, this is going to have to wait, but it's going to be haunting me. I'll be back. All right, we got Brad and Dinwiddie today. <laughs> and we're headed to a home site the same way they did in the past with the ferry. <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard me. <laughs> so this is gonna be awesome, we hope. <laughs> if not, it's gonna be a nice boat ride over. Okay, I've been hiking all over, haven't found much. And all of a sudden, wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Holy cow, extra heavy. There's my first really good find of any kind. Boy, I love that one too. Starting to lose hope. It didn't ain't much. <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> he got himself a back to a pocket watch, looks like. Yep. Brad got a lock. Not supposed to turn it over. Dang. A good one, dude. Yeah, it's my first hinged one like that. It's beautiful. Well, we didn't get much. Struck out. So that's an old Levi Strauss button. Well, this has been a struggle. <laughs> We've almost quit several times. <laughs> it's just weird. We really thought we would have killed it over here. But this is Brad's, some sort of two-piece button top, looks like. All right, after our fail earlier today, Brad took off. Dinwiddie and I decided to go scouting. Guess what we found? Another home site. <laughs> it's right up here. I'll show it to you when we get there. Hey. What is that? I got a matching set. Right, great. Yep, that's the second one I got. Yep. It's one of those things. Yeah. You know what it is? It's signs of life. It is. Exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Well, here's my first find. This is a Colgate jar. See a little bit of the glass with the, the lid and a little spout. Crazy. So I wonder if that was like perfume. Cause you wouldn't squeeze nothing out of there. So it's not toothpaste. You'd have to like drip it out. Well, this is some sort of clip or tack. It says towers. Not sure what that's to. All right, here it is. You can see kind of the, the rock wall go along there. Coming back this way, little hole. We'll see. Well, there's a big old file. Yeah, boom. Oh, persistence pays off. Kid just got a token. Now the fun part, what's it gonna be? It says 10. Let me clean it up. Unfortunately right now, I'm not gonna be able to get anything on it. Maybe I'll do a, maybe I can clean it up later and let you know, but I can see the word brown. I don't know. You're in this getting late, so I gotta keep going. So I was just saying, I think I got a zinc penny signal here, and I think I got another token. Oh, this one's in perfect shape. And in fact, I'll be in fact this is the same one. Mod Brown. Perma Montana. Good for 10 cents in trade. Dude, I just got a ring. I can't believe it. Wow. Wait till Dinwiddie finds out it's a gold ring. What? <laughs> no friggin' way, is it? 
Yeah, let me clean that sucker up. Dang. Pretty rare to get a ring at these places. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying so hard to make that a gold ring, but it's just not. However, that's pretty amazing to find even a plated ring like that. And look at the condition. I mean, for an old home site, come on. That's rich people stuff. Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie. Yeah, Hiding all this treasure. I don't, I don't want anybody to see anything today. Yeah. It's not an episode without a Cones Boss button. Cones Boss, Levi's, and a brass rivet. Woo! Yeah. All right, I brought Dinwiddie and Gunner back with me to the home site where I got the awesome shield nickel and the token. How big are their freaking babies? Look at that thing. Oh. oh it. And looks like Dinwiddie just got a garter clip. Awesome. Looks like a little bit of fancy on it. Hard to see. I got part of a saw. Horseshoe right over there on top. Who can ever point to these things? Right there. Yeah, didn't we? He just got himself a nice drawer pull. Something. Some sort of knob. Something kind of knob. It was a door or drawer. It's cool. Yeah. So much stuff right on the surface. It isn't even sinking in this spot. I think I'm on my like third horseshoe. And I saw a whole saw blade here somewhere. I'll show you in a sec. Okay, looks like I definitely found me a fancy little clip. Or a, like a brooch. Looks like it's folded over. Man, I wonder if I can fold that back. See what it really looks like. Let me work on this for a second. Now that's a showpiece. Look how awesome that is. It's got, it looks like a fake stone. So it looks broken, I think. But that's very detailed. Yeah, what an amazing little brooch. There's that saw blade. Well, most of a saw blade right on top there. So that looks like the top to a two-piece button. This is signal overall. Back's missing, of course. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Well, then what he can grab the cool couple cool things. Door lock piece. It's awesome. Man, look at all of those old wire snips. <laughs> Dang. I don't know, nail cutter, something. So that's pretty. That's a pretty piece. Yeah, I saw you digging that up. I was a long ways away. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dinwiddie and I uh, dug out the other place, we feel like. And right next door, they had neighbors. Look at that. Well, Dinwiddie doesn't have a long time here, but... Let's get swinging. All right, we just started. Didn't we's got a button? Boom. Oh man, I think I got a piece of jewelry here. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be sterling, baby. Let me clean that up a little bit. Yeah, so it's got a monogram letter on there. And a bunch of fancy flowers. But right up top there, it does say Sterling. Boom. You know, it's not a good hunt unless you get a <laughs> suspender. Dang. There we go. Shirley President. It's a pretty one. So, silver jewelry. And they got these... Plated. Yeah, see it even still works. Hold on, my dog needs me to throw a stack. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. So Denwood, he got a little deer. He's got like a Deal on the back, and it was a button or a pin. 
Maybe it just went on leather or something. Yeah, yeah. Things freaking cool though. Yeah. Congrats, man. Thanks. Yeah, so in the same hole as the Shirley President, I got this. So that must be another piece to it. Awesome. And once you get into these cliffs, it just seems like they just keep coming. Another chromed out one. Then we just got this weird little clip. Not really sure how that works. Some sort of fastener. Might have been off the case or something. Yeah, what do you guys make of that? It's got kind of a fancy hook. A couple of eyelets. That's a weird one. Oh, I found part of the old stove. Those are always pretty. All right, well, that was a pretty cool hunt. Got a couple awesome things. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.